Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. In today's episode, we will talk about Chewy Incorporated, traded at New York Stock Exchange, ticker name CHWY. Well, uh, Chewy today did show, of course, white candle, and overall you could see that we are kind of uh, forming a major correction here that started from um, mid of February and after declining to the level of 75 and rebounds ready to go a little bit higher to pierce upwards moving average 20 but all this of course would be interesting if not the news of today and especially if you look at after hours action you see that by finishing today at 80.38 after hours we're already plus 8.76 percent being 87.42 and the reason is of course earning reports so earning reports were very nice and just disclosed and for a company with a market capitalization of 33 0.16 billions we are having plus eight percent on earning reports very nice so it's 87 now at the moment so we are sitting just above let's say uh just at this level which was a clear resist line uh forming for the last almost a month period and uh, previously also being a very good support level for the price action that took place by the beginning of the year here so this level let's call it um, r1 is now we are sitting there with the price and the question is what next are we going to go higher or lower and to understand this we need to actually see what's happening uh in general with the stock and in general what is happening is a major correction uh taking place it was already somewhere in the middle of the major correction let's say or about to uh, probably even soon to reverse but still that's what exactly happening and if you look here uh, at, the, at the price action by 22nd of february we were definitely on the top of it we are now kind of declining and uh, this is another let's, let's say resist level that could be seen here let's call it r2 because this also followed moving average 20 here which usually on these corrective moves works as a temporary resist especially at the beginning of the correction and this is this green line by the way as always we have three moving averages depicted here at our channel uh, at our charts mm, at our videos so these are moving averages 20 50 and 200 here on the left you see their legends being green blue and red line correspondingly so if you look at those and you do see that moving average 20 worked at the resist level also by uh, 20 3rd of March and uh, today probably looked like as kind of resist uh, not being pierced but tomorrow definitely will be pierced so now the question is are we really going to go here or we are going to continue our correction well to understand this we need also to remember that on these correction moves it's not only moving average 20 but also moving average 50 works as a resist line and it could be so-called entrapping effect and entrapping is when the, on the correction uh, on the first, let's say, uh, rebounds of the correction, uh, price sticks uh, to moving average uh, 20 and then goes up and stacks actually between moving average 20 and 50. Imagine you continue those lines. This is the level where this could be happening. And actually, if you look, it's actually uh, following R2. It becomes R2 now as a support level. And the blue line of SMA 50 becomes as a resist. So what might be happening tomorrow? Simply speaking, as we are sitting at R1, we can just start volatiling between uh, moving average 50 and moving average 20. But most probably, we will do the further descending uh, following R2 level until we touch moving average 200. And then the play might start there. It could be a very interesting, uh, let's say, momentum to, to play and to enter. So, therefore, uh, also just to take, uh, let's say, volatility game and making some profit here it would be advised to buy immediately at r2 level and all the way to uh, 72 so with this being said it is actually between 82 to uh, sorry 75 so between 82 and 75 because this would be just an r2 level where we can enter and uh, we can uh, make the profit here as well so with this uh, 75 to uh, 82 let's put it uh, like this would be a very nice first entry opportunity and then at the rebounds you can uh, expect to go all the way until r2 even uh, sma 
uh, 50 here as, as a first uh, profit um, taking momentum. And speaking of profit taking, as always, at our charts, at our videos, as a general, we advise to take profit from 10 to 15 percent, then slowly moving charts, 15 and fastly moving charts, and really take it. Don't hesitate. Uh, if you take it, it's yours until you press the sell button. There is no profit as well as the loss. So uh, re-enter if needed, but take it and actually then you can check other opportunities as well if you like or uh, follow the current analysis and uh, seek for the entry for the similar position. So with this being said, uh, this first entry is uh, very nice also from the point of view that moving average 200, the, the red line will coming there, will be coming there forming also kind of uh, a triangle with R2, so it will be also double support here, double support momentum when the price could rebounds. Could rebound. Still, what is possible within the technical uh, move, although less probable now, especially after this good uh, news uh, on the, let's say, on earning reports, it might a little bit go further because uh, still it might pierce, it might pierce the price section, might pierce moving average 200. This is also possible, uh, but again, now it becomes less probable with these news that are coming after hours and with the price action that is taking place after hours, but still, uh, company uh, is huge, so the major trends could prevail on the news effect, and therefore we also need to be prepared for this if needed. And again, this would be um, therefore the possibility to enter. Uh, let's call these lines S1, S2, forming a very clear, strong, uh, actually, support level. This will be a possibility to buy again if we continue our classical correction move to those levels and this is actually the end of, of the classical correction which should uh, if we go there should be indeed the end because this is a company as I said with big market capitalization and actually uh, the bigger the company is uh, the more it is obeying let's say rules of trade because all news effects if this is not a super big news effect of course they are not able really to disturb the company from the major rules of trading. And this is why also why uh, those who prefer a slow motion uh, technical trade, they go for very big market capitalization companies because there you are, uh, you have time to react and usually you follow indeed the support with these levels quite nicely. So with this being said, this is the technical part of the trade. But again, with this news still, it's probably that uh, we will go high also to support it with RSI bouncing but growing. So we could go indeed into the uh, overbought area if we rebounce immediately to R1 level. Then we will see. But uh, if still would be trading classically, we might volatile or go to R1 and then go further lower to the second channel as one is to, to enter. So anyway, this is a good moment uh, to buy and to watch the stock. Another parameter which is interesting here, it's MACD. With this news, again, we still might form the bigger wave, but then um, it should still make this upwards, downwards shape, the classical sinusoidal behavior, because only then the correction itself will finish. And speaking now of risk mitigations, because, okay, this is the correction-based play. Uh, the lowest would be S1, S2, as we said, it's, it's okay. But then what if a negative catalyst kicks in? We also need to take this into account. It's always a part of our analysis at our channel in our opinion videos. And risk mitigation means that whenever it comes, you never know when, but if it comes, you need to be ready and have some funds to buy at the very principal support levels where for any bad news the company will not go lower and if you think of those levels especially for this big market uh, capitalization company it's clear that this is just between uh, somewhere between 50 and a uh, little bit lower than 55 because this is to be more precise about 54 let's say because this is the level uh, where the the upwards move was forming especially in the period of july september and this can create, let's call it S3, S4 channel. If the negative catalyst comes, again, not expected, even less expected now with this news, but if it comes, this would be the very final, very supportive level, which also will be unbeatable for, for the, let's say, bad news of 
of a reasonable size, if you could call it. So with this being said, 50 to 54 is just the, the level to keep some funds to mitigate your risks, if any, and that should be very profitable trade. And again, whenever you have a rebounds, uh, if especially it will be from the level of S3, S4, then the target will be R2 as a first target price, then with some volatility and further return, which will make it even more interesting a uh, play for actually midterm trade. This is also part of the trading. If you are a short-term or daily trader, you, you seek for opportunity to enter the first two levels because then it is about the technical trade. If you are more for longer term and bigger profit because you spend more time but you also want to gain more profit then you actually look for companies that are in the correct end of correction and then plus you have negative news but this is more about how you find those how you screen the companies rather than uh, how you buy there because it's quite simple to buy them but okay we will maybe once talk about this in our learning videos that are planned to come at our channel soon and also in our membership uh, a partner program but uh, not today of course it's not enough time for this so with this being said that's all for Chuvi at the moment this is the numerical card if you're more for graphical representation you could look here and speaking of how to buy it's still very classical support uh, play one two two meaning that the funds you would like to play here you can split in five portions and then you can buy with one portion in the first channel average down with two portions in st if still we have a correction to the channel of S1, S2, and if any negativity comes with the catalyst, you can still buy again, while others will be uh, taking losses at the channel of S3, S4. And with this being said, it would be very good play for Chovy. So good luck with it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're first time watching this video. And let's stay connected. By the way, speaking of staying connected, you can also find us at uh, social medias like Facebook, Instagram. There we post also uh, about new videos uh, placed at the at the channel so you can always find information there as well if you are more let's say a person who stays there rather than on youtube so let's stay connected good luck and see you at another episode of steps advisor channel